using a flathead screwdriver, go ahead and loosen this intake hose clamp and the one up here. Once those are loose, go ahead and pull that hose off. Go ahead and set that aside. Remove these two 10 millimeter bolts. Go ahead and loosen this hose clamp here. And lift up on the resonator box here. On the bottom side, we have a hose. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it right off. We're gonna be removing the ignition coils from this engine. You can clearly see that there's plenty of debris in here. Definitely clean this out before you take these out. So I used a rubber glove and stretched it over the throttle body to keep any debris from getting in there. We're just gonna use a blow gun after we hit vacuum just to kind of clear this out and make sure there's no debris left in here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull up on this lock tab right here. Once the lock tab is pulled up, you'll be able to push down on the center of the harness and disconnect it. Remove this 10 millimeter bolt from the ignition coil. Once that's loose, we're gonna go ahead, grab the ignition coil, pull it straight out. Using a 5 8 deep spark plug socket and an extension, we're gonna go ahead and remove this spark plug. I'll go ahead and lower the spark plug down inside the cylinder. Always start this by hand. That'll prevent any cross threading of the threads. I'll we'll go ahead and snug that down. Torque this down to 13 foot pounds. Go ahead and install the ignition coil. We did apply a light coat of dielectric grease into the boot itself for the spark plug. I'll go ahead and tighten this down. The new bolts here are 8 millimeter instead of 10. and just snug that down. Go ahead and grab your electrical connector, line that up, press it down, press your lock on. So go ahead and connect your connector, press your lock tab down. Now you wanna go ahead and repeat for the other cylinders. We're gonna line up our hose here with this unit right here and slide that on. Once that's on, the box down. We're going to light up our hose here with the throttle body. Press that on. Use a screwdriver and go ahead and tighten up that hose. Go ahead and install our 10 millimeter air box bolts. I'm gonna go ahead and snug those down.
Next, install our intake tube. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up our clamps.